Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, this is Ahmed Baad. Um, today webinar is going to be about the endomotor. Uh, what are the required specifications and features that we need or we should look for? So um, let's see this webinar and uh, if you have any questions, write them in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Hello my friends, this is Ahmed al -Wa'ad. In today's webinar, we'll be talking about an important asset in the endodontic treatment, which is the endomotor. What are the specifications and features we should look in the endomotor? Can the endomotor make the root canal treatment more smooth and more predictable? Let's find out. Today, I'll be demonstrating the iRoot Pro Endomotor from Fanta Dental. So, let's do together the unboxing and let's see the specifications and options of this Endomotor. So this is what's inside the box. So we can see here the Endomotor and here we have the stand and also um, the charging stand um, for the endomotor here where we can put the charger we have the charging cable the charger itself and we have um, cover for the um, contra angle and um, apex locator cables we have um, two here we have this one if we need to use the endomotor as separate um, apex locator or we can use this one for integrated apex locator and also we can use this as um, integrated apex locator from the first look of the endomotor we can see it's um, very lightweight it's very handy very good balance when we need um, to work and this is nice also we can see here the bottom they are very clearly identified and also here's the the screen so this is the power button. We turn on the endomotor. And here we can see um, other buttons. So this is um, for on and off of the endomotor. And also here we have the program, system, and plus and minus. And we will go through, through these options one by one. Also an important feature of this device, um, I can see that the head of the contra angle is very small, which is very nice and very good and very efficient uh, during root canal treatment because this allows for more visibility um, for the tooth or inside the canals, uh, which uh, minimize the hydrogen complications and also very easy to go in very distal teeth and uh, when we have limited mouth opening. And this is very nice feature. Um, the contra angle itself we can put in different um, in six different positions so it depends on the angle of our axis so this endomotor has 10 different programs and we can adjust each program according to the um, file system we are using so um, if you can see here we have this P to change the programs now we have P1 which means program one, then we can change P2, P3, P4, up to P10. This S button, we can change or modify the settings of each program. So like for, um, let's go for P1, like now, and also this um, plus and minus buttons, we can increase or decrease um, any value like now, we can modify the speed. This is 500 RPM. I can decrease it or increase it. If I want to change other settings, I will press S button. Now it moves to the torque and here I can change the torque. If I press another time, now I can modify or change the type of movement. So now it's forward. It means clockwise. Um, it can be counterclockwise or reciprocation. 
an important factor um, for this endomotor, it has integrated Apex locator. But we can change the settings or um, uh, with, with the endomotor, like maybe they can work simultaneously or each one independently. Or also we can adjust that if the Apex locator can control the endomotor or they can work both together but independently. So now if I press S, I will go to this option and I can change. Now I can see that both endomotor and Apex locator, they are in the same square. So now let me adjust the cable for the Apex locator and we will see. So now the cable of uh, Apex locator is attached to the endomotor and I can see now the option is both endomotor and Apex locator, they are both in the same square. That means that both endomotor and Apex locator they work together, but the Apex locator controls the endomotor. Like if I press this button now, and when it touch, it gives me the reading and it stopped. So this give me um, uh, protection during um, root canal treatment, especially in root canal retreatment. When we reach um, to the apical construction, it start to decrease down the speed then when it, become, when it reaches to zero, it will stop. And this gives protection to the apical construction. So again, if I press again, it reads and now it's counterclockwise. The endomotor counterclockwise. Now, if we go to other option, now endomotor and apex locator, but they are not in the same square. Now, if I turn on the endomotor, the Apex locator will work, but it will not control the endomotor. So this is an option. It depends on the preference of the dentist. So both together, they work together, but independently, the Apex locator cannot control the endomotor. The third option is if I go here and also press now it's only endomotor. And that means when I start the endomotor, it works only as endomotor. And if we can see, the Apex locator doesn't work. This is only endomotor. And the fourth option is only Apex locator. And that means the endomotor will not work. When I press this one, only Apex locator. So this is if you need to um, measure the, uh, the working length of the canal, you need an Apex locator. In this case, no need to buy um, uh, a separate Apex locator because this device is work now only as Apex locator. And if we press this button, the endomotor will not work, only Apex locator. Why? Because we already chose the Apex locator option. Another nice feature of this endomotor, which is optional, which is I really like, um, that it comes, uh, there is an option for foot pedal that it's connected by Bluetooth with the endomotor. So um, if you don't want to use the bottom, um, like for old school, you can use this foot pedal and the endomotor will work by um, Bluetooth connection. And if we can see the, the connection is very fast and the response is very fast. And this feature I really like about um, this endomotor because uh, for me it gives me more um, control. And now as you can see, we have a um, very lightweight device, user friendly, the finishing is nice. And most important for me is um, the weight and the balance. And I really like the option of this um, foot pedal because I feel I have um, more control, um, uh, like not, not to disturb my finger during my treatment. Uh, it has integrated Apex locator, which is uh, very useful in retreatment cases. And also you can use this um, uh, Apex locator alone or also uh, simultaneously with the endomotor either to control the endomotor or without controlling the endomotor. 
it has also six angles and I really like this is uh, the small head that gives me more visibility and access to the most difficult distal areas and also the screen is very nice and uh, the readings are very clear. So after we have checked the specifications and features of Fanta Endomotor, can we say that Endomotor is the reason for successful root canal treatment? Of course not, because successful root canal treatment depends on many factors, starting from correct diagnosis, formulating treatment plan, and the experience of the clinician and also the assets and tools that the clinician has. Endomotor is not a reason for successful root canal treatment, but it's a very good asset or an important asset for more smooth and predictable procedure, especially when you are dealing with more difficult cases like retreatments or like you are dealing with more posterior teeth or the patient has limited mouth opening or you have limited access cavity. Now the question is, can endomotors help in more predictable Procedures? According to this paper, the authors have concluded that using endomotors with built-in epic locator allow for continuous control of epical preparation and also time saving. In another paper, the authors concluded that using endomotors have less epical debris extrusion compared to hand files instrumentation especially in primary teeth. So yes, endomotors are considered a great asset in endodontic treatment. Share with us your experience with endomotor. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask. Until next time, take care. So any questions? I just want to um, note to an important thing. Um, integrated epic stucator is very important, especially in retreatments, because we know um, in the primary endo, we have the working length before preparation. And we know that we have to stop our preparation at the epical construction. We should preserve the epical construction because it's the natural narrowing. However, in retreatment cases, we don't have a working length. So when we use um, our night time for retreatments, you know, like they're um, a 17, uh, size 17 or 20 or 25, we, we cannot pass the epical construction because we're going to destroy this epical construction. So we have to use um, the integrated epic stucator. However, this is very important. When we are doing a retreatment for a single root tooth or single canal, we'll put irrigation and that will not cause any problem. But when we're doing retreatment for multiple um, canals in the same tooth, when we fill the pulp chamber with irrigation, we may have different readings. Why? Because the irrigation connects the canals. So for multi root tooth, it's better to minimize the irrigation as a lubrication during retreatment, so we will not have false reading of the epical um, of the epic stucator. So um, this is very important to note out. Okay. Um, so please, if you have any question, you can write in the comments, and um, I can answer later. Um, take care, everyone. Bye.